Now, I never played any of the original XCOM games as a kid, but with the recent release of XCOM Enemy Unknown, I thought, what better way to introduce a potential new gamer to this franchise? XCOM is a turn-based strategy game that pits human infantry against invading alien forces, and once you start playing this game, you quickly realize that you just can't go into these missions guns blazing. And for the complete noob just starting out with the series, it can be a bit overwhelming. That's why I created this list to ensure you, the player, starts out on the best foot possible when playing XCOM. That being said, here are 12 tips to playing XCOM. Coming in at number 12 is do your best to keep your troops alive. Now as your troop kills aliens and completes missions, they'll level up in rank, unlocking new perks and abilities that will become essential later in the game for destroying tougher enemies. Let too many of your best soldiers die, and you'll end up with a bunch of amateurs that don't know what they're doing. And trust me, you don't want that to happen once the more difficult enemies in the game show up. To avoid this, have roughly 10 to 12 experienced soldiers on hand at any given time. Coming in at number 11 is keep your medics close. Support classes with their wide range of motion and eventual ability to carry more than one medikit become crucial in XCOM, especially in the longer missions in the game. As a result, you'll frequently need to regroup and heal your soldiers, and trust me, you don't want to be sweating your health, especially in the final few encounters within any given mission. To avoid this, bring a medic, or better yet, bring two if you can spare them. Coming in at number 10 is do your research. Unless you're racing to finish the story, you'll continually have options as to what to focus your research on, so I suggest you focus on your plasma weapons and armor. Trust me, if you're not high up in your plasma rifles and armor by two-thirds of the way through the game, then your soldiers are going to be dropping like flies. That's not even worth bridging your ballistic weapons with laser gear, so you might as well just shoot straight with more powerful plasma weapons. Coming in at number 9 is get your overwatch ability early. The simplest and most effective tip for battles is to use the overwatch ability. Unless it's a timed mission, you can afford to move at a slow pace. And because of the defense and covering firepower you get from this ability, it is easily the best way to keep your squad safe. Coming in at number 8 is to use the save button often, but not too often. It's possible to obsessively save your way through missions, perfecting your strategy and using every encounter to your advantage. But as you get better, it can be more enjoyable to just dial back on your mid-mission saves and live with the consequences of your bad decisions. Coming in at number 7 is plan your base layout accordingly. While some aspects of base management are a bit bare bones, your base's layout can still be easily maximized to your advantage. Leave room to build at least two of everything, workshops, satellite uplinks, power generators, and laboratories, and remember that vertical as well as horizontal adjacency give you a bonus. And remember, don't dig deeper than you have to at first, but rather use all of your lateral space before spending extra money on expanding downwards. Coming in at number 6 is make friends in high places. Now a lot of soldiers will die in this game, and you'll probably lose a lot of council members as well. And you could lose a lot of them before the game is over, so I suggest you focus on keeping the wealthy ones happy, since each nation pays you a different amount. You'll survive if Egypt or Nigeria pulls out, but if the US decides to leave XCOM, then you're in for some major problems ahead. Coming in at number 5 is take extra special care of your snipers. Now the abilities the snipers unlock can drastically alter the shape of a battle. Now an experienced soldier with a good rifle and elevated vantage point will dominate, such that they'll easily rank up twice as many kills as any of your experienced soldiers. There's even an ability where the snipers can take up to two shots per turn, and those shots are usually insta-kills, so be sure to take extra special care of your snipers. Coming in at number 4 is don't stockpile powers. When you're in combat, don't hoard your ammo, explosives, abilities, or special moves, but rather use them early and often especially on the standard abduction, terror, and UFO crash missions, which usually involve around 10 to 12 enemies, as well as a bunch of leftover grenades, ammo, and medikits. Longer story missions are usually the ones where you want to worry about pacing yourself. And even then, a live heavy with no rockets is still way more useful than a dead heavy with two rockets. Coming in at number 3 is use the Psy ability to your advantage. When you first encounter Psy training, it's easily to write it off as a gamble, but that's simply not the case. While more complicated abilities are a bit hit or miss, the Psy ability causes nothing but damage, and does so with 100% accuracy. This makes it the perfect cleanup weapon for those enemies that have half their HP left, but can still cause damage to your troops. Coming in at number 2 is Retreat When Necessary. Remember, XCOM is a turn-based strategy game in which most missions don't have time limits. So when you find yourself in a tight spot, or are up against one of the super tough enemies near the end of the game, don't be afraid to just 
cut and run. Moving around corners will generally get you out of their sights, and a full-blown retreat can be useful to either get enough space to heal wounded soldiers, or better yet, to lure aggressive enemies into a trap. Coming in at number one is Don't Forget the Long Game. It's easy to put all of your money in crafting the perfect kit for your commando squad, but it means nothing if your coalition falls apart. Remember to build and deploy satellites, planes, and other resources around the world. And when given the option to choose from three abduction sites, always pick the one with the highest panic rating. And if they all have a high panic rating, then choose the wealthiest country. And trust me, it really sucks to make it 25 hours into the game, only to realize that you're woefully underprepared to fight the log war necessary to win the game. And there you have it, 12 tips for playing XCOM. Now I want to hear what you have to say. Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree with it? Is there a tip that I may have forgotten, or do you want to contribute a tip of your own? Feel free to post a comment in the comment section below, and as always, feel free to rate this video and subscribe to my channel. As always, I'm the Millennium Gamer, signing off.